Hey, welcome to Coco Lace and Giggles, where beauty is made simple. My name is Ayana. I'm glad to have you here today. If you are new to the Coco Beauties family, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and share with a friend. Sit back, relax, and let's see what I have to talk about today. Welcome back, Coco Beauties. How are you? I hope you guys are having a great day and that you know, no matter where you, your week is going well, or if you had a good week, depending on when you see this. Um, so I have some fun things for you today. We're going old school, very nostalgia. When you see this, you're probably gonna think of like your mom's makeup or grandmother's makeup. Um, this is a black owned company. It has been around forever. Um, they were like real strong and then kind of faded out in the 90s and now they're making a comeback. So I said that I was going to try them, especially when I saw they had, um, if not the same color, a color very similar that was very popular. I would say is their signature color. Um, but first, let me go ahead and say welcome. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time, Welcome to the Coco Beauties uh, family and hanging out at our kitchen table or at the little bar or in our living room, wherever we keep key, right? Um, if you are not part of the Coco Beauties family, I need you to go ahead and click that um, subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you get all of the lovely videos once they load. And don't be a stranger. Comment in the section below. I know some people are kind of shy and they're like, mm, I really don't have anything to say or, oh, that was cute. But go ahead, comment, share. It costs nothing to share. Um, and I love talking about makeup. And if you have suggestions on certain things, you're like, oh, what about this? Or have you tried that? In most cases, I may have it and just haven't done a video on it. And I'll do a video on it if you guys want to see a video. Um, this is your channel as well as mine, right? And if there are things that you want to talk about, I'm here for it. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Um, so let's start with what we're doing today. I have already opened up the boxes. I'm just gonna show you the packaging. Um, it is, my loves. Fashion Fair, and this is their cream to powder foundation. Now, anyone who knows anything about um, Fashion Fair, um, I'm not gonna, to me, as a child, when I would see my mom with it on, I used to be like, ooh, that's kinda, that's, that's, that's a strong red or some oranges. It kinda looked like your face was on fire a little bit. Um, and you know, I get it back then, stuff was very limited as to what we would wear. And she is very big on um, using black owned products. Um, so it was real hard to pull her away and get her to go to Mac. But then she found Fenty. And I think she's like a huge fan of Fenty. So Fenty is what she used. Um, so I don't know that she uses Mac anymore, but she definitely used Fenty. Anyway, if I'm wrong, mommy, just uh, say something in the comments below. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be um, playing with or trying out or testing. I will let you, this is my first time um, also working with it today as well. But the powder, cream to powder foundation. And this was $37 at Sephora, if you want to know, where do they sell it at? I know they sell it at Sephora. I don't know if they're selling it anywhere else. Um, my mom used to get hers from Hudson's. And I believe it was Hudson's. Um, I think when they left, by the time they left the counters, um, I don't, I think it was still Hudson's. I don't know if it went to Marshall's or not. Maybe it did, I don't know. Um, the only thing I ever really liked from them though, real talk, blushes and foundations. Uh, I mean, blushes and lipstick. Never, I can't remember their eyeshadow so much, but I do remember their fashion show, and their fashion show was amazing growing up. Um, so, yeah. This is their packaging or box for, well, the box for um, their lipstick, right? Real cute. Like the little Fs, Fs, you know. Back in the day, it was pink with the gold writing, right? 
No, no, baby. All white, nice clinical clean lines, FFs. And then we have the little gold, right? Real cute. Like cute to leave on your counter. I don't know if it, you know, it'd be kind of messy as you, you know, walk around with it in your purse. Um, a, a mirror, right? A nice round mirror. You saw my little swatching of it. Yes, y'all see how, y'all see how red and orange that is. I'm nervous, but maybe this will work. Um, <laughs> and then we have the nice little like cute gold. Um, and I think there's another, yeah, there's another like quick little mirror as well. And then a little sponge and it has the air holes in the bottom. I guess that's what you would call them. Um, real cute. I uh, got a nice little weight to it. Um, it's not, you're gonna have to do some tugging to open it so it doesn't just like clap open, you know, fly open. And then, y'all, I like this. Oh yeah, no more like broken case. It does have the magnetic. I like those. I don't know how many people really like these um, magnetic. And then we have, uh, let's see what colors we have right here. I have chocolate raspberry and grapesicle. So this is chocolate raspberry. Y'all remember this. Mm -hmm. Everybody mama had it. It didn't matter what shade of hue you were. Everybody mama had this color, okay? It was just like the same with the uh, matching Somebody went wild. Was it went wild? They had the uh, polish. So let's go ahead and y'all remember that, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on for you. Goes on creamy. Um, more of a. Uh, I would say a satin finish. Not matte, not super glossy. Fall right in between. And pose. Come on, Fashion Fair. Remember Fashion Fair? Uh... <laughs> Fashion shows. I think my last one was when I was in Atlanta. I can't even remember who I went with, but I went and it was fun. Oh, you know what? I think I went with the. Uh... My friend Camille Hines. Okay. Um, next color. Yeah. Next color is Grape Sickle. Oh, yeah. And then the only reason why I got this is because it had the sparkles in it. You know, I've tried it already. When I got it, I was so excited. I sent a picture and a quick video to, um, my friends who are lovers of all things beautiful and uh, they are here for a good lipstick. They love lipsticks. I am a gloss girl, but this is definitely for them and for my mom <laughs> and all the other ladies who is here for a good mm -hmm, berry. Okay, y'all, so this is Grapesicle. And that's pretty because when I went back in to purchase this, the lady was like, oh my gosh. She was like, that looks good on you. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't do dark. Y'all know I love me a good nude. So this is really sticking out the comfort zone. Now I do that uh, chocolate raspberry. Chocolate raspberry? Yeah. Chocolate raspberry all day long. Grape sickle. Definitely a good fall color. I can't really see myself wearing this in the summer, but mm -hmm, honey, this is cute. All right, so let's move on to the next. Let me go ahead and wipe this off, and then we'll get started with the foundation. Be back in a moment.
Okay, y'all, so I have placed my ever so <laughs> loving brightening blur primer. Um, and I love this by Becca. So I'm just I'm using it till it's done. Um, lucky for me, we were in a pandemic or still in a pandemic. And at the time when we were like on lockdown, I couldn't use this while I've been using it every day, right? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in and do a little, we're gonna place um, just a little bit of translucent powder in my oily areas. So for me, that would be like my T-zone. This is the nose can get a little shiny. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Um, it's funny to me how <laughs> as you like, right here, a whole lot, but as you start to mature, like the oily spots can either stay the same or they will shift to different areas. And uh, mine used to always be my T-zone, but I noticed it's like more through here and right through here. I'm uh, still kind of like T-zone a little bit, but not as much. Um, so, put that there, and now let's, let's get into it. So, this is mm, my glasses. So I am using the color Sensuous Sepia. And it's funny because when you get it, you're like, oh Lord. Like it's me and the person in Sephora was like, oh, that's that's real. That's, that's real red. Kind of orange -ish. And I'm like, well, I said, well, I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. Um, this is a bit much for me, so. I don't know. It warm my face up real quick. Ooh, okay. Well, huh? let's see. Um, now you are, for me, I sometimes have the hardest time trying to match up because even though I am a dark neutral, right? Um, I am not a neutral cool, right? I'm a neutral, kind of warm. I kind of fall in the middle, right? Depending on what my, what my skin is doing that day. <laughs> so for me, I'm like, eh, I don't know. We have to see what this looks like. Um, I am using my favorite, favorite brush from, I think it's called Complexion Culture or Culture. So, I know you all can see the warmth right away. I do as well. But I look at it as, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have to use a, um, what is that? I don't have to go in with my concealer to warm it up. Um, I do think if you get a little too heavy with it, you may look crazy. So, you know, and for me, it's okay, so it's medium to like full coverage, I think. I um, mean, yeah, medium to full coverage. So I'm sure if you got real happy and packed it on or used that little sponge, you, you could probably really get it on there, but. You know me, I don't I don't need all that. I'm not, I don't really have nothing to hide or conceal. Um, only maybe if I'm not getting enough sleep or something like that, but okay y'all, so it didn't really take a whole lot as y'all can see. I didn't do a whole lot with that and you know, um it was more like a swipe, swipe, swipe. And let's see. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not too far off from like all through here. 
um, <laughs> I might be encouraging my mama to, when she come down here to visit for us to go and take a look. I might have to pick her some up to see how she likes it. Um, now, they did have the um, press powder. Yeah, none of that worked. It was, it was too far off. It was like maybe two shades off. And if I went to the darker, then it, it just didn't, it didn't give a really good look right um but i am really impressed with this so i'm definitely what is it like three four o'clock right now i will wear this all day into the night so probably i'll probably try and keep it on until three. Let's see. at least to midnight um i'll probably try and go till one but let me go ahead and do some blush and get it all cute. And I think I might even put on lashes today because that is how I'm feeling, okay? I'm looking over here. I don't know why I need to be looking over here. So I'm gonna put my little lashes on, get real cute. Who knows, I might have another photo shoot. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so next thing is, I should've put this on first because I didn't. So we're gonna do a little bit of highlighter. Just a tad bit. And I'm gonna use my uh um LYS. Been enjoying this too. So I'll show it to y'all in a minute. So see. And this it doesn't take up a little bit, goes a long way. But yeah, so I'm gonna use this in Fearless. And this is their liquid. I'm just gonna do my ever so famous spot. I'm telling you. <laughs> when I tell my mama like, oh, you're not gonna believe what I used today. It didn't review well. She gonna be like, say what? Like when they come back out with some stuff. Oh my gosh, this meshed so well with this. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm gonna use a lot, just a little bit. Um, I even kind of rubbed it in on the back of my hand, as y'all can see. Like, I'm not like, oh yeah, let's walking sunbeam y'all I have been listening so as you all know I love me a good podcast or a good audio book and I have been listening to the the lower bottoms I love it it's a good little show it's on um I think it's on iHeartRadio but they also have it on um they also have it on, uh, of course, Apple. And um, I saw where Wondery, that's where most of my shows I listen to, Wondery had a, uh, uh, had their own app now. And at first I was like, I'm not getting that. And then I realized how much how many other shows I listen to is on there. And I was like, I gotta go get it. Which is cool though. You know, it's all good. And then also, shout out to my friend who, who went with me to, I'm talking about shout out. Am I really telling my age? Who uh, went with me to do a um, quilting, not quilting, a um, knitting like large chunky cable knit learn how to do that blankets so we went to go do that and um, it was interesting <laughs> um, I thought it was interesting that the company had teenage girls running it right to show us how to do these um, can you see do these um, what is that? Um, learn how to, you know, teach the classes, which is fine, right? Like, I don't care who teaches it just as long as I learn because it's something I'm going to do. I have been in 
classes like that with young people, teaching them, and like they are really about their craft. Um, they spend more time on the other, and more time on the other tables, which frustrated uh, people, right? And it threw, and I was at the table where they spent more time, where they spent the least amount of time. So I felt like we kind of fell behind because we had to keep asking them, how you do this, how you do this. It was like two people on one table and three um, people trying to teach on one table, and they spent the most time on those tables, which we ended up like staying like two hours longer after it felt like two hours maybe an hour and a half longer trying to get ours done long story short so now i have to finish it at home which is fine um well no it's not fine but i got the video on how to finish it up but i'm just like you know what why would you so you're asking why are you telling us about this you need to have at least one adult there, right? I don't, one adult, just to keep people on task. Um, high school students aren't gonna be that focused to be like, hey, we gotta be right here, or let me make sure everybody's right there. Like, you really have to be paying attention, or if someone's having trouble, you need to be able to step in. And I don't know that they were used to that, or even knew to do that. Anywho, but I learned something new. And I've been trying to do this class for like at least two or three years. So it's been a minute and I got a chance to do it. And that's great. I don't know. I know the next time before I make my um, arrangements to go, I will be making sure that there's an adult there and not a child running the class. Um, let's see. What did I say I was gonna do? I really like that, y'all. Like, it's cute. I'm a little heavy on my shadow over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all just started putting stuff on my face. Okay, so my shadow is, of course, one of my favorites. My oldies, the goodies, my trusties. Um, NARS. And the color is Blissful. So let me show you. Um, that color, I love this color. It's great, like, right? really cute. And especially for the fall. Um, let's see, what else? Are we, are we gonna do a shadow today, Ayana? Why not? Okay, so this is actually part of another box, but I'll be reviewing that later. So this is Ace Butte, and this is a fall cup. Oh, perfecto. What is a girl to do? Well, I don't know, Ayama. Let's get to it. What's the color?
Okay, so the colors that I use, I'm pretty sure you can guess. I use this one, put this one on first, and then I came back with this in the middle. And then I came down to this one down here. What is that? Uh, chestnut. And then I did this in the inner eye right there. So these were the four colors. And I like it. I think it is very much on point with what I am trying to do. These are the lashes I'm going to put on. It came in one of my boxes and I thought I'd try them. I think they are Kamara and Are Unique. Kamara Are Unique. Appeal liquid liner. Adhesive liner. Y'all know I love this adhesive liner. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I have completed my look with the lashes. Um, it did take me a little while, cause y'all know, um, you know, it, the struggle be real, I can't see, so y'all know how that go. I've been really thinking about getting lacy. I need to see if I'm a good candidate or not, cause I'm not seeing putting on lashes. Or waking up and being like, what is that on TV? Mm. I don't like that. So I just put on a little bit of translucent powder um, by one size. I think this is Patrick Star. Um, and if you wanted to know, what was that palette I used? Ace Beauty. Mm hmm called the Falling For You palette. Um, lashes, again, was this person, Kamara uh, Unique. I really like them. They're light, easy to use, and um, I used a, um, this isn't their adhesive pen, but I did use an adhesive pen. It was easy to use. It wasn't messy. It didn't clump up my own lashes. And um, it dried in just enough time. And I used that in Jet Black, and that is by Appeal. Um, yeah, big fan of that. Um, for those who don't use magnetic lashes, like these are just regular lashes on your invisible band. Um, and then, of course, I've been, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I think, let's see if this will work. So I'm gonna go with Grapesicle on the powder. Okay. the raspberry okay I like that um just kind of mix the two together I swear it looks like my my inner lip my uh, top lip is receding um I remember my bottom lip being bearded in this too, but whatever. It's cute. I like it. Mm -mm. And here is the actual test for me. Because all that other stuff is cool, but this means nothing if I cannot do this. Okay. It's okay. 
Um, I can't wear them like. No, that's okay too. Um, I usually wear them about right. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do like my look. So I'm gonna call this. Um, I'm paying homage to Hocus Focus for October. Mm, 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 one of my favorite movies. And I figure, why not? Let's let's go ahead and get real cute with it. So let's do a picture to see if we have any flashback. And right now, okay. So what I like about this is that even though I have cream to powder on, I like the way it's set. Um, it doesn't feel like dry. To me, it doesn't look dry or ashy, which is great for me. It's, I believe for people who may be oily, this might actually work for you um, just because it dries down as a powder. So it should absorb those additional oils that you may have if you are using um, either no primer at all, which you should be using the primer, but if you don't, okay, it is what it is. Um, but like people moisturize their face and then they put their primers on or they moisturize their face and then they still have that kind of dewy type, you know, I'm not gonna say oily, but dewy type thing going on. And so I think this would absorb that part that makes you look super shiny. Um, I love it. Um, they don't have a lot of colors, so I don't know with their formula if it's one that's like we do a range, right? Like this color may do like, it may get like that true, whatever that color is, it, and then it may also um, go like, three and a half shades up and then three and a half shades down or two and a half shades up or two and a half shades down or one and a half shades up and one and a half shades down, if that makes sense. Um, kind of like with the tinted moisturizers when you would, oh, I'm swinging around in the chair. Kind of with the tinted moisturizers, like when you would, um, like you go get them and they go, oh, this is for, you know, these five colors. And you like, sis, stop, like no way. But then you actually put it on and you're like, oh, this works for me, right? So this may be like that, um, but I like it. So, you know, um, it's quick, it's not messy, and I'm all for like less mess. Like I don't want my hands touching nothing, but like maybe some shadow. And if I could even get away with that, um, not touching that, like I'm good on that. So I really like this. I'm happy with it. I wish them nothing but the best success. I hope people um, don't hold that stigma on them and still go and try it anyway. And they blow back up and get them coins back up because they don't have a blush line out yet. I haven't seen any eyeshadow yet, but uh, in Sephora, but I don't know if it's not on their site or not. So you would have to check that, but listen, give them a try. If you don't do nothing else, you go and you get grape sickle and chocolate raspberry. If you don't do nothing else up in this piece, you go get these two. You hear me? Grape sickle and chocolate raspberry. Um, chocolate raspberry is the one that's more fuchsia with the iridescent in it. And then the grape is more, um, I didn't swatch that for you all, did I? Oh, how bad of me. It's more like a, it's like a true grape. And in it, like when you look at it initially, you're like, oh, it has a little bit of glitter in it. But you really can't see that glitter like that. Um, maybe it's because I got little lips, so I don't really see it. But you really can't see it. So, um, to me, it gives you just, it's kind of, so it's kind of like that, um, have you ever seen those, not, um, oh, 
the thing, oh, the serums, right? Where it's like, oh, it gives you an inner glow. And so it doesn't really have any shimmer or sheen to it. Um, you may see like little specks, but even when you put it on, you like, I don't see it nowhere. But when the light hit it, it's like, boom. It's like, ooh, oh, right? That's what I think it does. Um, I think it just complements, right? Whoever wears it. I am hoping that their stuff really hits big for a lot of people or really hit that niche group that has that hard time finding that the right color. Um, even though um, I am a cool color, that um, that ooh, that reddish, that warm tone under it was like perfect, right? It didn't, it evened everything out. To me, this part, like usually when I put on makeup, like this part is really dark and then I have to use the highlighter to the concealer to like bring it up or brighten it. I didn't have to do that. And I like that. Like I like that one step, all right, let's go type thing. So I am done. It has been great hanging with you. I hope you guys enjoy me playing with, you know, a little bit of fashion fair. Um, I did not put on like a little, you know, a snazzy shirt for this. I am I'm coughing it up because it is October and that is what we do in October. We enjoy our coffee. We enjoy the pumpkin lattes. I don't like pumpkin, but start, you know, the coffee, there's some coffee companies that have the apple crisp latte. Don't sleep on it. Pretty dang good. Or the one with the honey blend. Love that one too. Or the funnel cake. I'm a fan of that one too. So, um, listen, community, the strawberries and chocolate, coffee, fire. You should try that too. Anyway, it's been awesome. I hope you guys have a great and safe day, week, weekend, whenever you see this, and I will catch up with you all a little later. You guys have a great um, day.